Hello viewers. Here we are today with the students of class 6. Yes, these are all students from our class. Class that is Vishraj classes. We have gathered here to show you one interesting activity which we find in the science textbook of class 6. So you can see all of them have something on the table in front of them and they have brought some interesting things to show the interesting activity. So before we start this activity, I would like to introduce these students one by one. Is Ishan, a very silent boy of our class. Hi. Is Anuj. Hi. All of you have seen him in one video in which he did one very interesting project. And all of you know that Gautam is best friend of Anuj. Hi. Is Atharva. Hi. Daksh, on this side are the beautiful girls of our class. She is Pranali, Sanvi, Rashika, and Anaka. So, these nine students, they are going to show some interesting activity. So, before we proceed further, let's see what they have brought with them today. Okay, let's check what they have brought. As I said, they have got some interesting things on the table. So first, let's check what they have brought here and what is the purpose of those things what they have brought here. Uh, hello, Nishan. Uh, what do you have brought today with you? This is strainer, this is unfiltered tea and this is a cup. Okay, then which process you are going to show today? I am going to show the separation of substances from this unfiltered tea. Okay, and what you are going to use for that? Strainer. What is it? What is it called for in common language? It is called as garni. Yes, we call it as garni. Okay. Anuj, what you have brought with you? I brought water, okay. dish and salt. Oh, just two simple ingredients here as what? And what you are going to show by using this salt and water? The evaporation of salt from the water. Okay. Evaporation process he is going to show. It's very interesting process. Yes, Gautam. What you have brought with you? I have uh, brought bitter. Okay. In common language, we call it scrubby. Yes. I have brought one pot, huh? and, uh, water, okay. and cut. Okay. Then which process you are going to show by using this? I am going to show uh, how to separate, how to separate a uh, useful components, useful components from cut. Okay. Yes. Yes. From the cut, you are going to show how we can get to useful components. Okay. We will see that. Yes. Atharva, what is there in this bag? There is rice. Oh, you have got rice with you. So what you are going to show with the help of this rice? I am going to show the method of hand picking. Hand picking method. Yes, which we commonly use actually at home. Yes, Daksh, what is there in this bottle? Soil. Okay. Uh, why you have brought this soil? To separate soil from water. To separate soil particles from water you are going to separate. Okay. Now, here. Yes, girls, Sanvi and Pranali. Uh, what you are going to show here? What you have brought with you? I have brought flour. Okay, and you? I have brought a sieve. It is called in common language Sani. Oh, you are going to use Sani. Good. And we have brought plate. Oh, for what purpose you have brought plate? We are going to show the uh, sieving method. Sieving method. Okay. It is going to be quite interesting. Yes, here, what you have with you? I have one blowing fan in common language, we call it soup. Okay. And I am having groundnuts. Okay. And what you are going to show by using this groundnut and this winnowing fan? I am going to show, show the winnowing process. We are going to make the lighter particles and heavier particles separate. Okay, separation of lighter and heavier particles. Now we have seen what ingredients they have brought and what is the purpose of that. Now straight away we will go to the actual process, means the actual activity of this video. Again we will start from Isha. Yes, uh, as he said, he has brought tea, unfiltered tea and he is going to show this separation process. Yes, Isha, continue. Let's see how you are going to filter this tea. Oh, unwanted particles are getting filtered. Yes, enough, enough, enough. We will show here. Just have a look. Here, this unwanted particles are filtered from this tea. 
so daily in our daily life we use this activity we use this trainer and this scientific activity that is separation of unwanted substance with the help of this strainer we do it in our daily life yes very good thank you for showing this activity yes now let's see what anuj has got anuj is putting here the salt packet he is uh, putting all this salt in this plate now he is adding some water in that yes add slowly yes now we will have to mix this salt as we forgot to bring spoon we will take the help of scale as all these things are easily available in our classroom so he is mixing this salt in this water with the help of scale Yes, we can see the salt is getting dissolved in this water. Yes, turn it properly. Yes, slowly. So after this salt completely gets dissolved in this water, we are going to keep this plate undisturbed for few hours. So what is this process you said? evaporation process so in this evaporation process the water will get evaporated so we will have to keep this plate for water to get evaporated for some time and what is left in that plate that we will come to know later yes now he is going to make something interesting as you said you are going to separate two useful ingredients yes, yes. so what you are going to do i am your uh, curd what curd okay He has emptied his curd packet in that vessel. Okay. He is adding water in that. Add little bit more because you know actually this should completely dip in that. Ha, huh, pass enough. Yes, like this. Or is the butter milk no? It spreads. Now he will start this process. This is churning process. actually in higher class we also learn one method which is called as centrifugation method so as these are the students from class 6 they only know this turning method later when they come to class 9 they will come to know that this is also called as centrifugation method so let gautam continue his work till the important ingredient is separated from this we will come to know what in important ingredient is separated okay As Atharva said, he has brought rice, and he is going to show hand picking method. Yes, Atharva, put this rice in this plate. Just spread it. Ah, we can see some small stones in this rice. So, even this method is followed in our daily life. before we cook rice we always clean the rice we always clean this raw rice to remove the unwanted particles from this and the simple technique hand picking method simply with the help of our fingers we pick up the stones from this yes you can keep it here by the side just see how many stones we get here yes just check clean the rice see it's all simple all these methods are used right from the ancient days but now we only come to know that these are scientific methods yes i think you have separated so now we can use this rice to cook <laughs> rice is ready to cook now let's come to daksh as he said he is going to show how to separate soil particles from water may sometimes the water is muddy or uh, it's not clean so by one simple technique we can separate the soil particles yes he is adding that soil in water yes i think enough 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 we have added the soil particles in this glass add some water 
we are first making muddy water and then we will show you how to separate that from water yes stir it again we are using scale here to stir it yes now as he said this is sedimentation process we are just going to leave this glass undisturbed for some time sedimentation process is the process where the heavier particles they settle down so here the soil particles which are present in this solution they will settle down after some time so to know what exactly is the sedimentation process we will have to leave this glass undisturbed for some time so the boys section on the whatever the things the boys have brought what activities they have shown is over now we will come back to the girl side yes sami and pranali they have brought uh, floor and sieve and let's see what they are going to separate from this floor with the help of this sieve they are putting this floor in this sieve this is called as sieving process they are trying to separate something from this floor we can see some rice particles here in this floor so suppose if we don't sieve this floor before making roti or chapati all these particles will come in our rotis and chapatis and will spoil those things so sieving process separates like this bigger particles from the fine particles yes it was quite interesting so even this technique is a part of our daily life yes now these girls are going to do something interesting they have got interesting peanuts yes what you are going to do now i am going to do peanut process yes yes they have taken peanuts as we know that we don't use this peanuts or called as ground nuts as it is we always clean them yes we can see the lighter particles are getting separated from these ground nuts but now how to separate this from the ground nuts because we don't want this lighter impurity along with this ground nut we cannot use it as it is so let's see what they are going to do now <laughs> oh ho <laughs> this is winnowing process as these girls are uh, from class 6 i would like to help them in this i'll show you the correct technique of using this pan is like this see the lighter particles are flying away from this pan can you see this is how we use this winnowing pan yes yes uh now our student gautam he was busy in that churning process and he was trying to separate some interesting useful ingredient let's see what he has separated oh ho what is this butter yes he has separated butter and what is left in this vessel milk buttermilk buttermilk yes the milk left out after getting butter is called as buttermilk so here both the things are important or useful we can say the buttermilk as well as butter and what we use here curd even that was the useful substance and from that useful substance we have separated again two useful substances one is buttermilk and one is butter curd butter buttermilk all are good for our health and here our sedimentation process is still going on see we can see the heavier particles of the soil they have settled down they have settled down and if we leave this undisturbed for few more hours the water will still become clear and if we use alum 
Okay, if we use alum, our sedimentation process becomes more effective. Okay, the sedimentation process more effective by using alum. Alum helps in settling down the particles very soon. So this was all about the separation of the substances. Here, this was federation, evaporation technique, churning technique, also called as centrifugation, hand picking method, sedimentation method, sieving method, and winnowing method. So science, as I said, science is not a subject which is to be learned. Science is a subject only to know the facts. As it is said that we are the part and parcel of science subject. We cannot separate ourselves from the science subject. See, all these activities we use in our daily life. We follow these techniques in our daily life. And our students, how interestingly they have shown this activity. So I would like to say thanks to all of you for bringing all these ingredients and performing this activity in our class. Thank you students.